Chevy Tahoe. Dodge Charger SXT. Slight difference in height. <clears throat> We're in front of the hotel here. And I just want to do a quick review on this big friggin' behemoth. It is enormous to say the least. Um, it's even bigger when you put a smart car next to it. Dang, if you were in that smart car and got pegged by this, woo -wee! Good luck, Mr. Canadian. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, why would someone buy a taco or rent it? Well, in my case, I rented it because they didn't have a car available for me, and they gave me this with uh, no increase in price. So I was like, okay. Anyway, let's see what we got. This is the LT version, so it's got leather. It doesn't normally come with sodas, um, but the seats are pretty comfortable, I'd say. We get to the back seats, I know it's a little dark, but we do have um, tinted friggin' windows. Holy, no wonder why it's so dark. Uh, LED lighting, it's the modern way. Uh, yeah, look at that. Ain't that just uh, slick? We have a fold down screen and a full on uh, set of cables and entertainment back here. It's a little hard to see. Bins everywhere, containers everywhere. Look at this little one there. Little one there, little one there, and of course the split uh, seat. So that side folds, this side folds. <clears throat> so if I wanted to get in the back, I would do something like that. I could climb over it, typical. Or perhaps I could, uh, I don't know if I could tumble this. I haven't figured that out. Back seat, it's actually pretty sizable, but the floor is way up here because back axles here what do you know uh, so unlike a minivan where you have a flat floor you have to deal with things like axles and gas tanks and things underneath um, in the back and then behind that is a couple feet of space let's go check it out yeah of course you got the giant lift gate and oh, feed me all right and then uh, of course back here's stuff it's a Instructions, wire, you know, the mesh, mesh type stuff. Okay. And um, yeah, hey, look at this. So I got power. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got actual power buttons here for movement seat. Oh, okay. Here, there she goes. So then, look at that. I could put a ladder in here or something. It's kind of weird how it does that. Um, sound if I had to say anything and then there's tumble bu uh, buttons here whoa oh my goodness there's a, there's a button back here that tumbles that puppy forward whoa I tumbled that one forward interesting I had no idea why would you do that so now suddenly, I just push that back, push that back. This can go back. Wow, I learned something about this vehicle just now. So I guess the answer is if you want to tumble the seats, you can do it with remotely from back here. Uh, you got some stuff you can pull out here, a private jack, things like that. Uh, we got tether, latch, right, lower anchor, lower anchor tethers for uh, kid seats. Oh, oh okay. Oh, no, 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 don't open it. Okay, there we go. Mm, automatic gate. This is where you pour gasoline in every 10 miles or so. And some sizable aluminum wheels. <clears throat> as far as the actual driver's area, uh, it does have tilt telescoping. We get in here it does have push button start and of course things are you got this my link thing which is okay oh music what a concept um it's okay i it's a new interface to me i have to play with it i got my phone synced in here so i could actually i could actually do something with it um 
They could do videos, and so that's the entertainment system behind us here. It can do uh, videos, and you can plug in uh, RCA jacks, so to speak, with that. And um, yeah, there you go. You gotta hold on to the gas. Starts up pretty well. And I'll figure out what the gas mileage does in a little bit. Uh, automatic lights. I don't know. Get stuff up here. Got a place for. Whoa! Hey, check that out. I can actually. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I can hook this up as a mirror to see what the kids are doing. Stop hitting your brother! All right. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, otherwise, on top of here's an eyeglass case. And uh, sunroof controls, doors. I can change how wide open the back uh, door opens. Because if it goes all the way, some places that'll hit the ceiling. If you got a low garage, you can do like two thirds, uh, three quarters, I should say. Here's your garage door opener stuff, automatic mirror, and easy pass because uh, this is a rental. So, yeah. Oh, this is pretty good. They got a little um, rubberized area so your phone doesn't go flying around corners. They actually got, um, have the earphones, headphones for the entertainment. Looks like there's uh, Bluetooth, uh, sorry, USB slots, which are very hard to see. Two USBs and what looks like a compact flash slot. So I suppose you could do that and get your music up here. Seems pretty cool. Good climate controls. Um, of course, you got your, oh, you got native USB. I didn't even know that, so I brought my... <clears throat> cigarette lighter style. I had no idea that, that any car I got would have had a USB. That's more normal now for charging. Uh, heated seats, bottom and yeah, heated backs, ventilated backs. Actually, it's not ventilated backs. My bad. Just heated because well, we're in Buffalo, New York, where heated seats would be primo. Uh, it's very quiet. Very quiet. And that's cool. I mean, really quiet. Here's the exhaust. It's like super quiet. I guess that's what you expect. We got a luxury style giant friggin' vehicle like this. Chevy Tahoe. If you have money and kids, that's the way to go. Oh, I need four wheel drive. I didn't mention that. It actually has modes. Um, Automatic mode or manual mode for four-wheel drive. I haven't played with that, of course. Um, there it is. Right? Automatic, so it would just slip into four-wheel drive as needed, or you can lock it in four, or uh, lock it in two. And then there's the headlights and dimmer. Okay. okay. Good stuff. And all I can say is thank you for watching. I want to add something that when you're in gear, uh, there's indicators for proximity to things such as you know, stuff up there. And then also in the backup view, they have the um, lines for what you have to watch out for. A car just drove through and quite literally there's a vibration in my seat. So anytime you have a proximity, I'll say alert, there's a little vibration in the driver's seat kind of wakes you up. So that's another pretty good feature um, of the Tahoe. One final thing on the backup uh, lines that happen there. If I turn the wheel, see how the lines curve? And it'll show me, oh shoot, I'm gonna go and hit that, that uh, truck back there if I back up towards it. So I can straighten my wheel out, okay. So this actually makes backing up super cake. Pretty amazing feature. Chevrolet, Tahoe. Good job. We're rolling down the throughway, 70 miles an hour. Depending on the wind, 21 to 23 miles a gallon. So if I actually dropped it back a bit, set her down a little bit. It's at least 20 in a row. 65, see what happens here. Now we get slight uphills and slight downhills, but all of a sudden it's like starting to argue that it might get 25 or more, 27, 28. Now there's little downhills and uphills in here, so I was 
see what happens there. But for a Tahoe? Yeah, sure, uphill, it's 16. But 10 plus years ago, even flat level highway would have been like that kind of mileage. Well, maybe 15. I think this might have the cylinder deactivation, all that kind of fun stuff, right? And of course, the commanding view of the rainy road here. But nevertheless, it's pretty impressive. Put the cruise on 65, get some pretty decent mileage. All right. 